And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning, everyone. We're off to a mostly cloudy start to the day out there, but at least it's not as windy as it was when we started the day yesterday. Right now in Idaho Falls, a temperature of 30 degrees out there, so it's still not too cool, and the wind's coming from the south-southwest at 9 miles per hour. It's 1 degree warmer in Pocatello, coming in at 31 degrees right now, a little bit breezier with winds coming from the south-southwest at 14 miles per hour, and we're seeing these mostly cloudy skies to start the day out there, and that's going to be the trend throughout the morning, and along with those clouds, we could even see the chance for a scattered snow shower or two as we move throughout the morning. We're seeing all these clouds build in from the northwest, and we're seeing it across Pocatello, Blackfoot, Idaho Falls, those thick, patchy white clouds, and also some scattered snow showers. Looks like maybe just southeast of Idaho Falls is seeing a snow shower right now. And even as we get a wider view to see where other parts of southeast Idaho might be seeing these snow showers, we're seeing them pop up just or even across the central mountains, maybe along the Idaho-Wyoming border. And those will quickly move out of our area as we move into the afternoon hours. So we'll start off mostly cloudy, and then by the afternoon hours, it could become partly cloudy, maybe even mostly sunny, depending upon your location. Around 9 a.m., we're seeing a nice scattered threat of some snow showers this morning, even across the Wyoming-Idaho border. And that's going to be the case as those become scattered as we move up right approaching lunchtime for today. And then those move out of our area for the the snake of a plane. We're seeing this, the skies clear slightly, even across the central mountains. A scattered snow shower, too, is likely across Salmon and also across Ledor for this morning, and then across the Idaho Wyoming border into western Wyoming, looking like overcast skies once again for today with some scattered snow showers continuing into the afternoon hours. Then by about four o'clock, we could even see another round of those scattered snow showers just east of Idaho Falls and Blackfoot. Looks like we're clear in Pocatello, maybe by Montpelier. You're area could see a scattered snow shower or two and then as we move into the evening hours skies become mostly cloudy again by about 11 o'clock looks like across the central mountains were partly cloudy and the Idaho Wyoming border again western Wyoming overcast skies as we move into the evening hours as far as temperatures go right now we're in the 30s across the Snake River Plain which is uh, considering a rather mild start to the day out there and temperatures today will move into the 40s so we're continuing to be above average once again and those 50s will be back tomorrow. Across the Snake River Plain today, we'll have some morning snow showers. Temperatures hovering in the 40s for most areas. It'll be 46 today in Pocatello, 44 degrees in Blackfoot, 42 degrees in Idaho Falls for today. Across the Central Mountains, some morning snow showers are likely for your area as well, but the skies will clear to partly cloudy skies as we move into the afternoon hours. Temperatures hovering in the 40s for your area as well. It'll be 46 today in Chalice, 40 in Mackey, 47 in Salmon, Let Orange Stanley not getting out of the 30s for today. Across the highlands and western Wyoming areas, scattered snow showers are likely throughout the day today. And it looks like temperatures stay in the 30s. It'll be 32 in Island Park today, 34 in Jackson, 31 degrees today in Afton. And then for tonight, across the highlands in western Wyoming, expect a scattered to even isolated snow shower threat throughout the evening out there where temperatures cool pretty much in the 20s. It'll be 21 degrees tonight in Island Park, 26 in Driggs. It'll be 24 degrees in Jackson. Across the central mountains, partly cloudy skies are likely for your area tonight. It looks like temperatures will hover in the low to mid 20s, maybe even the upper 20s, depending upon your location. And for the Snake River Plain tonight, we're partly cloudy. It looks like temperatures hover around freezing for Blackfoot, Pocatello, and American Falls. Idaho Falls, Rexburg, and St. Anthony will be in the upper 20s for tonight. Let's have a look at that seven-day forecast for Pocatello. Expect a high of 46 degrees today. Not much in terms of winds, but those quickly come back tomorrow, along with those 50s. It'll be breezy tomorrow with partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the low 50s, maybe even the upper 50s as we approach Thursday, and we are watching some rain and snow showers possible for Friday. For Idaho Falls, your seven-day forecast, low 40s today, high 40s tomorrow, 50s by Thursday. The winds pick up for your area on Thursday, and then it will become very windy as we approach the end of the work week into the weekend. For the Teton area, your seven-day forecast, some snow showers are likely today, tomorrow, maybe some rain mixing in with them on Thursday. We'll have windy conditions on Friday and Saturday, and the threat for snow continues continues, but lo notice those overnight lows finally back into the single digits. So we'll start to feel like winter again. Even across the central mountains, we'll have a high temperature of 46 today, 47 tomorrow, 50s by Thursday, and we're back into the 30s by the weekend.